Hey everyone, this is Lana coming to you from my Dallas area garden. Last year I did a video about my bachelor buttons, also called cornflowers, and cilantro, also called coriander. And I wanted to do a follow-up video showing them a little bit later in the year and at different stages and some of the different colors. Like last year, I planted a mix of colors from Baker Creek. This is the dark purple that I didn't have blooming yet last year and it comes out kind of wine colored and looks a little bit different in different light which is really cool. This little one down here came out really light which is pretty cool. So here you can see there's a bud that hasn't opened yet and then of course the flowers and then here we have once the flower has dried out then you can get the seeds from right in the middle there a little tricky to do with one hand <laughs> but there you go and some people say they look like little brooms and so um, I actually gave away a lot of plants this year. I think we planted some, but they also reseeded themselves. I love when plants do that. So I'm going to just drop those down. And before I forget, because it's a little bit later now, the zinnias are already coming up as the other flowers wind down. So I had a good mix of the colors this year, the light pink. There was also a light purple which was really pretty and there's some seeds to collect there as well and then this one that's kind of a uh, I don't know in between blue pink purple it's really pretty and then the cilantro I still have some of that blooming and something I learned this year um, I had some of the seeds dried out and I put them in a bag and then several months later go to get some of those seeds and a bunch of them had little holes in them and there were these teeny little bugs that kind of looked like ants well it turns out that they were what's called a coriander seed wasp and the wasp goes and pierces the seed heads and lays its egg or larvae and it develops inside the seed and then they chew their way out. So all the seeds that had one of these insects in it had a little hole and it's one time I'm glad I did not have my seeds in a paper bag to finish drying. They were <laughs> in the bag so I didn't have bugs flying around everywhere but so this year I can be a little bit more on the lookout for them but I'm not sure if I can tell you know if a seed has been compromised ahead of time but um, so these are the seed heads drying not quite ready for picking yet um, there are some oh I've got a little garden buddy hanging out with us I always love seeing anole lizards in the garden Some of the coriander is a little drier. You could see, maybe you could see that they're a lot more brown. And that's, those are probably, those might be ready to, to pick. And uh, so yeah, it's great to collect some of the seeds, but also I really like to leave some of them there's a flower that is winding down but doesn't have the seeds ready yet. It's great to let some of them fall and replant themselves and then it's also great to collect some so you can share them with others and make sure you can plant them again. There's another red one. So it's been really beautiful seeing these flowers together again. I have some Coreopsis, I think, that finally popped up for me.
and they're just really beautiful spring flowers that the pollinators really love. I hope this has helped. Please share if you enjoy collecting seeds or growing these plants or have any questions. Hope you give them a try sometime. They're really beautiful spring flowers.